think what you're doing. Climb in the aeroplane. We didn't need a checklist for that. So we're in the aeroplane. You know, if you need the list to tell you to switch on the master, you're really not thinking. You know, drawing uh, too much power to a positive is going to be a yeah. mess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's arm down. Okay. Hang on, I forgot. Thanks. The checklist is vital. Even I'm given. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. This week, Jean, Matthew and I are going to jump in the Sling TSI and show you a detailed startup and pre-taxi using our standard checklist. Enjoy. Hi guys, so today we're going to do this checklist. How to use a checklist in an aeroplane and how to best apply this. Of course, safety is number one here. So we want to make sure we do everything safely. I've seen a lot of people climbing the aeroplane and they take the, the checklist as they get in and like, okay, master on. And they go master on, back up on. And they're not really thinking what they're doing. They're literally just taking that and looking at it. The way we like to do the, the checklist is get prepare for flight and think what you're doing. Use the checklist to check that you've done it. So I'm going to try and show you the way I do it. Climb in the aeroplane, we didn't need a checklist for that. So we're in the aeroplane. Now, somewhere down on here there's a checklist for a seat belt, but you do everything naturally. So I'm gonna do it naturally. Wayne, if you grab that, I'm gonna okay. do what I would normally do, okay. and then let's see how it ties in with that, with the flows and things, yeah? Okay, so I'm in. Now, one of the things I like to do when I'm in an aeroplane, and I was taught to do this from the beginning, before I do anything, is make sure the brake is on, and make sure the throttle is closed. That way, if anything goes wrong, you bump a switch or something and the engine starts, you know it's going nowhere it's safe. You know, if you need the list to tell you to switch on the master, you're really not thinking. So I'm going to switch on the master. On, on this aeroplane, we need to get the EFIS's. So bat battery back up on EFIS 1, EFIS 2, EFIS 3 on this yeah. one. Yep. Good. And that's what the list is. Yes. So it's quite nice. Normally things are in a nice flow like that. So you wait for that to boot up. And then um, I'll put the key in, but I won't turn it on yet. You make sure if you've done your pre-flight by putting your flaps down, your flaps are up. Trim, you can check at this point, is neutral. Hit continue. Basically now I've got my engine page up in front of me, which I need for the startup. And good point, yeah. So definitely always open the engine page so you've got access to engine instruments. Good, so we, we're doing good there on the checklist, yep. Okay, so now we're going to get ready for startup. This aeroplane is nicely designed. I would switch on lane A, lane B. I would switch on the main fuel pump, then ECU backup. And I like to keep my hand on that ECU backup, put it on. You have a look at the two lane lights checking the lanes, the computers check the lanes and then you see your fuel pressures come up to in the green. You kept your fingers there to remind you to switch it off because the engine will start without it. Then we'll say prop on. Boom. Crack the throttle, make sure the brakes are on. So that way, because I set the plane up initially, we just needed really to crack the, the throttle. Throttle's cracked to the mark. Most of the aircraft have a mark where it'll start up just above 2,500 RPM. Prop clear look around make sure I'm always using my peripheral vision around the plane when I'm getting ready to start I'm aware of what's behind me and we go so once again prop clear and One of the most important things when Jean first started the aircraft in was to get the throttle, I mean we say 2400 RPM, but make sure you're over 2400 RPM and then you'll notice that the volts goes up to, you know, 13 point, uh, 13 point something. Um, so you'll see the voltage go up and that's the second alternating kicking in on the yeah. on the motor. If you do have amps on your screen, you'll see that go up as well. So the amps yeah. will actually go from a negative, so it's, you know, drawing uh, too much power to, to a positive. So that's really important if you don't do that, by the time you get to the run-up area, your the radio is going to be flickering. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a yeah. mess. Yeah. And as you say, if you get there, you haven't done it, it won't want to kick in then. You've got to shut down and restart. 
we're going to put this up on the screen, but we'll also put a link. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description to a, a copy of this PDF. And earlier, you, we might have missed it because of the audio, but earlier, after we switched the prop on, we checked it was uh, right. uh, auto and takeoff. Yep. So takeoff is like being in first gear, essentially. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So then pre-takeoff checks. We're, uh, we're done here. Yeah, we've got avionics on, we've got lights. Light strobe. We, so the thing I like about the academy is leaving the strobe on all the time, so that if someone Definitely. leaves the master on, it, and you walk away from the plane, you'll see it flashing. I've had it at night when I leave here, and there's a flashing light, and there's nothing going on there, and someone left the light, the master on. Yeah, it's a great idea. We always use the strobe, leave the strobe on in the academy, uh, and then that way, yeah. You, you know for sure if you left the master on. Yeah. So since we've been doing that, we've had a, a lot less dead better. batteries here. Yeah. Before taxi, seatbelt's done. Propeller is on the pin out. And transponder is on VFR. And so so the parachute on. armed, um, when we're parked, we leave a little padlock on here. Well, definitely when we're at air shows, because we get kids jump in the cockpit and fiddle with the parachute. We actually so, lock it. Boop, yeah, boop. so we actually lock it, yeah. So that's armed now. All that's on there now is this little cable tie here. It's about five pounds of pressure, twist and pull. So it's, yeah. that's armed. So let's get a bit of the ATIS or AWOS. Okay. Or split, North Towers on 133.0 Alpha. 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 And at Torrance Ground, 135 Whiskey Tango at Sling with Alpha. We'd like to taxi runway 29 left. Verify Whiskey Tango, runway 29 left, taxi via Echo Alpha Golf. Echo Alpha Golf, thanks. So, so brakes, subconsciously, I mean, I'm used to yeah, it. Yeah, you did it immediately. Yeah. So yeah, the moment yeah. you started rolling and I felt you do it, yeah. uh, brake check, yeah. You know, a lot of these things happen naturally. You do it a million times and you do, but the checklist is vital to make sure you've checked everything. Because even I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, uh, for the altimeter, I'll, I'll put it back on 77, but uh, it's easiest to do it on the G5 if you've got yeah. this set up. It's just nice and definite. You don't have to be touching buttons and things. Yeah, knobs are good. Yeah. Well, now we're on our way to the run up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If your process is any different from ours, please let us know how in the comments below. Otherwise, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it.